and we having businessmen men to complain illa kunun kanale fu banjo ibuka jino ibuka la bagaso jin de tonda e kata fen gold drop men to senegal gambia bagaso ka jisen o ma si bolet peut to contribute immensely to the failure of adam mabaro regime from 2017 to 2020 manke mo la foye ko babu ndok monki id bar comme itela jero ya je ko wala be tamakan npp ko yes na je because ya ken defangola i was victim who the party executive president of anang president we ablo bula amang intervene because atele atele sonta yenna di political campaign baro e mo no fo mo ni ning ata hana ta comme ko be jarelale we transport people from mali sierra leone and uh, other countries mba we we are going to do pour que mon transport ni na la nan kan support pour 5 years on moi ici à proud bari ita bono la ko ha ministre la jo do atale ngat nga ministre ta la ala wan sol la fa mol mem be duma ministre patata nyaw nya mol mem be marcher to jenden jaay o famasol do ko senegal mem be bolon ko no wolle patata ministre ti ko ton te balafa no la ministre e ka fo ministre la jo do atale nga balafa e wonto director la jo do atale nga balafa ya ya has the political power ya ya has the political popularity hanebi molbe la fringale anu hanebi ala yamoro na futa morka let it be put straight that marriage should be between a man and a woman only if they reach the age of 18 and above or if they reach maturity because people could be matured before they reach 18 so every year the dfs receives 1 million dollars from fifa 500,000 dollars in january sorry Another $500,000 in July. Gambians both here and in the diaspora know that his statement are not treasures. However, yes, however, since treasures is not available, regardless of the lack of merit of any such prosecution, Sabari will be reminded in the mile two through the trials. This is the objective of the government, to put Sabari in prison so that he cannot campaign in the upcoming local government election. This is a well-calculated move by politicians aided and battled by the criminal justice system to silence Sabari. The question is, how is this any different from the way Jambé weaponized the law and used the justice system institution to target political opponents? We are witnessing an emergence of abuse of power by the state against its own citizens. Criticizing government is a democracy, it's not a crime. We demand Sabali's immediate unconditional release and end to his political prosecution. This attack on Sabali is a betrayal of the ultimate sacrifice like of Solo Sande made in 2016 to remove this country from the jaws of dictatorship. Sabali is innocent and Sabali should be free. Free Sabali! 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 Not on unlawful detention! 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 Not on unlaw
The protesters, we are peaceful. We are peaceful. We are harmless. We are peaceful. Yeah, yeah. We are peaceful. You could see that was Sabali's wife. That is Sabali's wife. Let's go and come back. Let's go and come back. How do you feel this? How do you see this? So, so actually, uh -huh. we expect this is going to happen. We knew this was going to happen. This is what they do to intimidate citizens. So, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say the protest was peaceful because yeah. see, there was no violence. Anything. We have not advanced with anything. Yeah. But we, we understand this was going to happen. And this is what exactly they plan. Just to intimidate citizens all the time. Already people were peaceful. Um, demonstration it was going fine. And all of a sudden, tear gas will fight up. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be more Gambia PIU long or more Gambia police all long, especially the men in the black uniform. Mm. It's obvious. They can they surprised the go um if it is so viral because they are not intelligent I can say it you know and it's obvious um just to read you out a statement and they had to throw tiagas on people so but then that has been the modus of operandi for the men in the uniform it's it's rather very sad it's very very sad um, come here, Bafu can yam and drunk. Um, statement on your bullet read can drunk. If you're a statement or read can drunk, police only in Narawal and Pia Yuji, the Tiagas are afraid. You come on, Wajakan Yam, they are still peacefully Mandarin Fena. Um, there is nothing in their hands, Tam and Cabana, Stimel and Co. It's a feral cover labor. Apart from the Tom Wajakan Yam and drunk, hands I will be carrying. Um, come in, Maja, and you're so okay, Timale. We are going back to Muru. Come on, Bola Jacan Tendron. Imagine, imagine. All the men are off. Espace. Comment vous voulez dire qu'on t'entend Let's stand here. Voilà, comme il parle là-bas, j'ai quand même un hand cabi, um, de sécurité à faire tous. Voilà, on paye aujourd'hui, ben il pousse quand même, voilà, mold mais là l'onco, um, voilà, fondit dans un pour canal, voilà, um, sous la dalle, dans des pour ça, voilà, ça fondit dans un jamais. Comment vous voulez dire qu'on t'entend Um, paye aujourd'hui, mais quand même, ils poussent des protestants pour eux. Ils se font des scandales. So solidarity with him and also to, to demand his um, um, release. release they were, they were reading their statement. The statement of Mr. Bola read come, but he not get a PIU like Tiaga Sura Alpha Ecom. Come on, Vaja Kanyam and the Iceman Road there at the Johnson there, uh, signed the plant in there, pushing them towards uh, Westfield, Melamian Johnson, or New Orleans Johnson body, um, towards uh, Red Cross. Come on, Vaja Kanyam and Intermolo. Um, the Red Cross letting um, you could see uh, some of the um, uh, people, Melan Column protesters. See? You could see them uh, push and pulling with uh, uh, the PIU officers. Me along co, all the red cross man found it. Come on, all the jay content wrong. Come in, all the club running wrong. So all the mall me along co, all the co, some kiri bung jole. For all the detention on jinta ka extend. Me along co, iba ama all the jail. Ah, for jan ning ah, general kalu me along co, all the co no. Actually, lulu me along co, all the jiran di co. Ah, iba fun din kiri on jan actually no. Come in, ah, kabiri jin detention oke. Come all the all the jame. Ah, 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 reaction oke. Siar all the mojima all the reaction oke. Kaya jan di co, dole jan di co. Detention is illegal. I'm not going to defend him. I'm not going to kill him. But do I then defend him? I'm not going to. Well, well, last thing I'm going to do. Come on, what are you going to do? Among them, me and Uncle, they they feel like the detention is illegal. The detention is extend. It's illegal. All the funds are not being put in them to show solidarity with them. Come on, what are you going to do? It's still now the PIU are driving them. They are pushing them still. Initially, the charges were filed already. The me and Uncle, the protesters were peaceful. One can say it because um, there was nothing that is happening. But you could see. You could see. 
MJ, the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are just, they are just trying. They are just trying. I said, 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 um, your body alone, the world of Kobal Bedek and Yaman in Tamela. Um, but Kumala and Yaman drum, um, still some of their men are still, you know, persuading with the protesters in even your Kachaka or Damian Co. Um, no force all over, no pushing, pushing, never caring. Um, Kumal Bolaje can take. I am made in the world of Mila, but I don't know Melan Co. I don't know the officer of Melan Co. at the Bay Ilipacane. But Kumal Baje can Yaman in Burma Dakon already. Um, Omar Saibu, Ferenda Academy of Melan Co. Um, Demanding the, the immediate and unconditional release of Sabali. Coming here for the world car release without any charges. Um, free Sabari! 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 We know they are so scared of Mr. Sabali because of his, his so he he's so wild and they know he's bringing out all their shenanigans. This is why they want to keep Mr. Sabali away from these people. They know that local government election is coming and they know Mohamed Sabali's campaign strategies are going to uproot all their achievements, all their candidates in the local government election. That's why they want to keep Sabali. But you can keep Sabali at the election, but you've got to keep his mind. You've got to keep the generation that he's inspired. That's why we are here today. Keep Mohamed Sabali, but you've got to keep the generation that he has inspired. Keep Mohamed Sabali, but you've got to keep the generation that he has inspired. Keep Mohamed Sabali, but you gotta keep the generation that he has inspired. Free Sabali, yeah, this criminal government can never silence Mohamed Sabali. We have to be our brothers and sisters keep us. Gambia belongs to everyone, you know. We need to stand for our rights. Yeah, man. Government belongs to the people. We have a right to a peaceful protest. Boy, this is a day we have a cool in a day. It's a spell. It's a spell. It's a spell.
Not a police brutality. Not a police brutality. I'm here today. Uh, before I read out my statement, I just want to send a message that we are aware that one of us has been arrested by the police, but we are having reports that he's released, but we cannot confirm his release yet. So we are going ahead with our protests all day, every day, until Mohamed Sabri is released. It is six days since Mohamed Sabri was arrested and detained by the police. The mandatory 72 hours was provided by the constitution, expired on the Saturday at, at about 4 p.m. Up to date, Sabali has not been charged with any offence whatsoever. The police and the Attorney General's chamber colluded and made an application to the High Court for Sabali's continued detention until January 5th, 2023, by which time he will have been in detention for 16 days. The Supreme Law of our land especially states that you cannot hold anybody beyond 72 hours without taking them to court. The police and the Attorney General's chamber know that they do not have any case against Sabali. However, they intend to restrict his constitutional fundamental human rights and freedoms so that they file a bogus ex parte application to prolong his detention. Sabali, this malicious, sadly, this malicious, vindictive and politically motivated application was granted by the High Court. The Constitution bests the same High Court the power to protect citizens from infringement of their constitutional guaranteed fundamental human rights and freedoms. In Sabali's case, it is evident that the state institutions given the constitutional mandate to protect and enforce fundamental rights and freedom are the perpetrators using the law to violate his rights and freedom. We know that the police and AG chambers want to charge Sabali with treason on Tuesday. Gambians, both here and diaspora, know that his statements are not treasonous. However, since treason is not bailable, regardless of the lack of merit of any such prosecution, Sabal will be remanded in mile two to the, the trial. That is the objective of the government, to put Sabali in prison so that he cannot campaign in the upcoming local government elections. This is a well-calculated move by politicians, aided and abated by the criminal justice system of this country, just to silence Sabali. The question is, how is this any different from Yaya Jembe weaponize, how Yaya Jembe weaponize the law and justice sector institutions to target political opponents? We are witnessing a reemergence of abuse of power by the state against its own citizens. Criticizing government is in a democracy. These are the principles of democracy. We have to criticize the government if they're done wrong. We demand Sabal's immediate unconditional release and an end to his political persecution. This attack on Sabal is a betrayal of the ultimate sacrifice, the likes of Solo Sanding made in 2016 to remove this country from the jaws of dictatorship. Sabal is an innocent man. Free Sabal now. And the message free that Sabali we now. are going to chant here today is free Mahmoud Sabal. We are fully aware of that. The government of Adam Bago, this criminal government, are scared of Mahmoud Sabali because they know his mind can never be controlled or caged. But we have to put it to the government that you can cage Mr. Sabali physically, but he cannot cage his brain. And Sabali has inspired a great generation of young people in this country. You can keep Sabali at the detention center physically, but you cannot keep his mind there because his mind has inspired thousands of young people who are motivated, courageous, to make sure that dictatorship is not coming back to this country. And clearly, Adam Bago and this criminal government are making us slip walk back into the dictatorship. We say no to police brutality. We say no to political persecution. Never again. Never again. Let's make it a reality. Never again. Never again. Never again. The police, it's in front of the world that the police has tear all of us. And Sabal's wife is right now with the Red Cross. He, uh, we don't even know his physical condition right now. He's with the Red Cross. And almost all the boys you see, the police are physically beating people. You can see almost mouth. And Major, everybody was, I mean, almost beaten here. So we are going back to the street to demand for his unconditional visit. Whatever is there for us, we are ready to take it. Thank this, you all. This is, this is the point, and this is why my message has been very clear from the beginning, that this is not about Sabali. You see what they did to me. This is what we do in this country, and this is what we want to end. It's not just, police cannot be brutal. If the Gambia police force cannot learn how to control crowd, we cannot resist, we cannot back off, we cannot give up simply because they're going to hit us back. This is what they do. Imagine a crowd of less than 100 people. And all what we, do, we did was chant a simple message to the Gambia government and they released tear gas. And this has been what has been here for 22 years. This is why we fought so hard, tirelessly, to ensure that we change government. And if you are seeing the same today, and citizens are very comfortable and sitting at home, it can be any of tomorrow, it can be any of us tomorrow. It can be some, somebody detained. It can be somebody hit on the streets simply because the person stand for justice, because the person de 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 demand for the government to, to, to respect our rights. For me, as a person, I'm not going home. I'm going back.
three streets for, for I have been hit for police have been brutalizing people in this country for far too long and we're going to let it happen. This is not the new Gambia we wanted. This is never the Gambia we have fought for. We stood by everybody in this country and fought to ensure that 2016 a change comes. And if the change remains the same, if the status quo remains the same, if the situation remains the same and citizens think eating breakfast and lunch in their houses is what will change this country, we are joking. We are going back to the streets. Well, it is very important for us to send a message to the state. This is so unfortunate for seeing our own brother, our own mentor, Mamadou Sabale, being captured, being arrested by this question. It is important for you to call somebody for questioning. You all knew about it. It is their right for the police to call Sabale for questioning. But after you all knew is that after 72 hours, the man should be released and go and see his parents. But detaining somebody or extending his detention it is unconstitutional. Everybody know that. All the legal-minded persons literally know that. The funniest part about this issue is to associate Mohamed Sabali with treason. Each and every one of us knows Sabali, the person he is. If you vividly listen to the audio, he said it clear, very, very clear. Ten minutes audio. How can you go and edit only 19 minutes audio where he said, Sabali said in Mandinga, if you cannot speak Mandinga, the state, if you cannot speak Mandinga, let us interpret to you. Sabali said in Bakanindal and Tasunandla, first day house CC. What does that mean? Meaning that he said we are going to do massive and aggressive campaign. What does that mean? Meaning that we are going to be aggressive when we are campaigning and we will make sure that we install all our national, national all our um, uh, mayors and chairperson in, across the country to make sure that Baro will give the position to Usain Dabo. If you're talking about treason, would he say that, okay, fine, Baro will give position to Usain Dabo? Does that make sense? I'm urging each and every one of you to go back and listen to the full video of the thing. From there, you can make your own analysis out of it. But we are not going back. Sabali must be released. He's our mentor. He's our boss. He has been with us. He stood for us. And then we should make sure that we stand by him at all costs until he receives. Okay, thank you. I just want to make a quick announcement. We are coming back on the street on the 2nd of January. We have submitted another permit. Whether they accept it or not, we are coming to the street on the 2nd. We're going to do a massive protest to demand for his release. Uh, comme l'unité Sabalini. Nous avons que nous avons dit que nous avons dit que nous avons dit que nous avons dit que nous les gens qui ont all what I want to say is not much, you know, because um, me, I saw this coming. Uh, the, the, the point is to silence him. And not only silence him, but because they know that he has the voice. So the only thing that they can do is to at least, you know, throw tear gas on the, um, you know, um, peaceful protesters. But unfortunately, um, what really affects me is seeing a PIU officer punch um, someone on his mouth. That's, that's, that, that is very discouraging. And um, the never again that we keep on saying um, is still being violated by the police. Uh, because near the PIU officer be mortala ba junkula data ba data la man loa mo sembo tika ma dia la mo mi ya long ka man joran soto ya muta ya junku um sembo kan because iba uniform lo kon ite ni wo killing nal fin dira sate kon ite hani la ka wo ka wo ke wala so but then muna dina ba hide la from the uniform or behind the uniform trying to at least discourage people 
and you can see, um, as you can see them again, they are back. Molben National Youth Monument Auto, but they still want to continue. So they never again campaign that people are keep keep talking about. It's not a reality in this country. local language in case Okay, ning mo mobile quality. I mean, my message mentioned again before ning kyo You know, this is very sad. And you have da balafa wa da. Sabali mo phone ning You know, month no inke kang kapo sabali mba keka wale or because mba keka you know political party le. Main ke kang control dem gamenu le. Dem gamenu just too late. Into lu yeye kelo menge 2016. You know, puka that dictatorship bondi jang malafi wo nyole mu nang jang kateng. Over so kamol muta ye muta ya detain for more than 72 hours. You know, I'm thank you, just a mere political statement. So we're calling into Bani Bangko Kan. We're being interviewed in Bangko Kan. You know, with freedom, with the liberty, kind of freedom of speech. So we're as constitutional me Bangko, I am told Bela Luata, I am told Bela, I am told I have a guarantee. So you move, you are not able to do it. You are not able to do it. We are not able but Ning is an insult, you know, to every other Gambian youth. So we're coming to work here for Ningko Ole. I'm going to finish now. You know, we. Protest peacefully, Katan Diloko, Manta Sonda Nina, you know, and never again men can fall, and we still stand by that. On the second Nihara Sonda of January, we are coming back again in the streets, you know. So for Nadan Masakunda Loko, Ndolemu, Masakunda, Ndole KJ, so Navai Nina Nyanto, Uomu, 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 so and police all that are peacefully assembled, then you take us for Molka. So, but thank you so much, you know. Amadu wa kumi ayaje nyam nyinta mungu kwa mika na sabla wala mala ufindi ta nyinta mwa ayaje apia yuinga kwa inata le inata le kotenge hani kavi ibe mone ibe se ayaje ibe belo inila buso mika na inila paypote mika ayaje bari mo belo ni ima imanta ta fengi kwa inko ayaje nyam nyinta mbo bari hani kavi mika na UDP la bara mika na kimo te atendi be dia mu Orang am balik hand kabi dalam Malaysia ni aming am balik monumen atau jayut monumen Westfield. Am kau malah baju kan ni aming ni tempel la protestal Malaysia langko. Walau fundan nak kena soldier hidup ni mahu sah bala. Andung ibemen demand kau lama on conditional release ani immediate release. Am walau demand kang masa kunda bulu. Am baru kau Malaysia ni aming dalam be ice man road level lama kau ni finti. Am kau pun kau ni finti kena nampu Westfield monumen orang ni tu jadi Malaysia langko. Am they they finally read their statement Malaysia langko. Ya, sahaja orang mungkin nak nari dengen. Ya, start di jalan Malangko dalam Asman Road Mafangdi. Baru kerja fendi Malangko. Ya, sebenarnya ni start dengen ni kabar ni lah. Pihak juga tiaga sudah apa aja. So kerja fendi Malangko. Mungkin kerja je. Kau malah baju kan? Jangan baju begam. Malah baju lalu dah Malangko. Kamera mana yang faham beberapa kerja kan? Orang kerja fendi Malangko. Aku lara je bagai. Polis orang ni wala pihak juga ni. Ina nak protes tal ni tak? Ia pusing naya nak nampu dah Malangko dalam Westfield. Mungkin mana yang dah Malangko. Ah, ialah statement orang yang finalise dia lalu. Um, kami yai dan dijago. Ah, nyumbu fenom mialan ko. Aman ka political kudi andung um fenom mialan ko. Ah, bermain ibe as as keno mo mo lal. So akhirnya fenom mialan ko aku mada bakal puru ah bangko di ibe fendi. Um, ye nana puru ye la solidai di dan di um ya fenom mialan ko bukan bangko. Bau yai dan lekoko um ala yala di jenisono mialan ko ya extend fenom mialan ko um is on constitutional um amantari lori lua kang mialan ko ah nabangko betam kang wala. Ah, woto akhirnya fenom mialan ko ye ye ying ah sembota ah wala ying ah simfara puru kafundi nasi loga ah kanila um um yala solidai di dan di ah mamar sabal. Ani fana ka ah mansa kunda aku mandi puru is Isa Imam Sabal bulan ini, nyaming. Bawa ia itu di kofen nomi alangko. It is on constitutional am fen nomi alangko. Am under lari luar kang. So ini nak kita fen nomi alangko. Akhirnya jangan kau malbaji kan nyaming. Nalbaji beka mul fund nomi alangko. Amang imol masih apa ke? Walau nana purkan as termin orang read. Bar akhirnya fen nomi alangko. Amang nala bangkungke. Bawa polis orang ni walau pia yul ni. Nana tiada gas udah lihat apa? Protestal ni kan jero. Ada nomi alangko ibe jen jenta. Kau malaj nyaming. Dulu bija akhirnya fen nomi alangko ibe ramadhan le. Minta rasa sabal le musuh darafan kita mudi nomi alangko. Ya sambab red cross ada nomi alangko. Ya, tanya ya muda je lefo, waktu ni orang kau ala ala studio sana istebu ini nak bula bula kena abisnya. So ni entah mana proses saya lembu follow ya item lekoh, ibu muru lana fana. Ni mungkin kefen di orang kau abedan nabi lelak barai item lekoh. Januari kau mian orang kau bedung kau lekono, ati refulo ibu fundi lana fana kanal usilo lekam ka sabal la immediate release or demand, ane fana on conditional release. Aji nom fendi mian angkol kerja jang ah nal badi malam ni mesti ah memang aku rofunu dila babu la fana nal sekaca mula mula suruakan mula mula angkol lemah mendingakan mui.
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring uh, <laughs> And we having businessmen not to complain. Ila kulu nka nale fuku banjo. Ibuka jino ebuka ila bagaso jino. De tonba. Ekata afen dole drop minto senega. Gambia bagaso lka jisena. Oma si bolet. Dr. Tuna contributed immensely to the failure of Adam Mabaro regime from 2017 to 2020. Manke mole afoye babu nwok monki it. But kome yitele jero ya jeko wolebe tamakan NPP kono. Yes, not really, because you are going I was victimized. Who? The party executive. President of Fanang, President of Yabulogula, 